Welcome back. So the other thing I've had a couple of people asking about are how to get your various weapon parts to appear sort of on a leveled list where they'll, the weapon in the game will spawn with randomized parts. And I had to figure this out for my old Range Master release and I've recently been working on it for my new one. So uh, I had previously done a picture tutorial and I lost all the images for it and I figured it'd be easier once again to just make a video so I can link people to that. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna look at the combat rifle before we look at what I did with the Range Master. And I'll show you where that information is for your weapon. So let's find the weapon entry for the regular combat rifle here. And I'm sure you're all pointing to it and I'm just blind. Here we go. Okay. So we're in the the object entry for the weapon itself. From here we want to take a look at the object template. So in here you see all these lists and keep an eye on the render view down there. We have all these lists and each one is for different versions of that weapon. You can see these codes if TMP rifle semi-auto uh, if TMP simple rifle if epic restricted. Okay, So what these are the TMP ones are your standard enemy weapons. This is what's going to spawn in the hands of your basic raiders or super mutants or whoever ends up getting your weapon. The epic ones are the possibilities for when it has a legendary attachment. Now, notice how the epic restricted ones are embedded within the others. That means it's just going to take whatever parts are entered for this and slap on a legendary to the same parts list. Okay. So what I usually do is I just copy these from one weapon to the, another. So I actually, when I did my range master, we'll take a look at that. I just started with the combat rifle. I made a duplicate so it kept all of this same information. Oh, there we go. So it kept all of this same information when I made my range master, right? So from here, in the object template, I just deleted all the automatic options because the range master is a semi-auto weapon. Think of it more as like a marksman rifle. And so I got rid of all those, kept all the semi-auto ones, and that greatly simplified things. I didn't have to make any of my own, right? These, so these categories are already here. What you can do is export and import the template possibilities if you have to, but I highly recommend that you just start with a duplicate of a weapon that's similar to what you're going to use. So if you're making an assault rifle, start with this so you have all of those... Um, semi-auto and automatic options already there for you to make things much much easier. So what do we do from there? Well let's look at the Range Master one here. As you can see if I click on a different one it'll give me a preview with randomized parts based on whatever parts are listed for it. But where's that list? Well it's right here in the middle. So this is formatted, so you enter, using this information over here, one receiver entry, one grip or stock entry, one barrel, one magazine, one sights, one muzzle, and then you see down here I have additional entries for my materials. You can add additional entries, but you want to have all the base ones first. Now. You see there's two different things here. There's mod, which these directly reference your mod entries. So the part where you selected the model and entered the stats and stuff, you just point this directly to that part. I only have a standard receiver right now, so everything is set to use that standard receiver. Now you'll see here, for the grips, I have mod collections, mod call. 
these are your quote-unquote leveled lists for weapon parts and you can enter them in here and anything that's on that leveled list is a potential part for that weapon list or that weapon type so let's look at a mod collection mod collections are technically just uh, weapon mod entries so let's look at my handmade grips. So you'll see up here you just check mod collection. It changes the weapon mod window to look like this. And you just go add. I do mod range master and now it's got all of the mod parts that I created for it. I've already entered. the three that I want for this. So we have a no stock, the makeshift stock, and the wasteland stock. These all go under my grips handmade. So if I use this code over here for my grips one, then it will just choose from one of those three. You can also enter for each one the character's minimum level for this one to start appearing. Now I haven't gone through and balanced the range master yet, so these are all set to zero. But typically, there will be a range from 0 to around 30 for most weapons uh, for the various parts. So I don't want to make any changes to that. But I want to show you that you can also, so we have Grips Any. And you can see that I can embed another mod collection within a mod collection. And it will just pick from anything in those two. Just like a leveled list. So these really are just leveled lists, but for weapon mod parts instead of for the weapons in the hands of enemies or spawns or whatever. So we'll leave that one. So then I would come back here, and if I wanted to use varying parts, I just enter a mod collection in the grips or stocks or barrels or whatever, wherever my mod collection falls. And then if I've added new parts, just add those in after all the base ones. So I have three different material swaps here for different parts of the weapon. I just added those at the bottom after the final muzzle one. Uh, do make sure that you have at least one at least one entry for every part that your weapon could possibly get. Otherwise it will simply spawn with nothing for that part. So if I forgot to put a magazine in there, it's just going to spawn with no magazine. So do make sure you have one for everything. The final important part for these is in your mod collections. So let's use a different one. Let's look at let's look at scopes iron. Make sure that your attach point down here matches the attach point for whatever parts this is entered in. So I'm looking at my sights right here. If I go up to one of my scopes, let's look at the reflex sight. That attaches to AP gun scope. My mod collection also attaches to AP gun scope. So this will tell the game what this list is for, essentially. Uh, give me a moment. Is there anything else we need to cover on this? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Well, if you do come up with anything, feel free to contact me. I'll leave a link to my Nexus profile so you can contact me there or you can just ask in the comments and uh, I'll see what I can do to clarify. In the meantime, have fun modding, best of luck, and take care.